Holy cow, that is gross. What is that? You're gonna scare your viewers. They're gonna need a lot of puppy to overcome that. Hey, that looks like a ball. So uh, we've been away from the house for a couple of days here. We just, we just came back and in just a few days, our tomato plants here have been uh, wiped out almost by this little caterpillar called the tomato uh, hornworm which basically isn't little at all. You come to your garden and all of a sudden it looks like you think that the deer have been eating your tomatoes, but not really. They're, these tomato hornworms will defoliate your entire tomato plant. Um, you can tell you have a problem by, you see, first of all, there's like literally no leaf left here. So the tomato hornworm excrement looks like these little black pellets and they're big. So here we have some initial damage of the whole plant still hasn't been nuked yet. This is a Brandywine tomato, and I really like Brandywine tomatoes. Um, and if you look around, somewhere on this thing is a tomato hornworm. And then, lo and behold, I found one before, and here he is right here. So this is a tomato hornworm, and if you see these white things across the top here, he is what's called a parasitized tomato hornworm. There's a tiny wasp that lays its eggs along the spine of the tomato hornworm. And that's a good thing. So basically the little larvae of the wasp hatch and then they burrow into the caterpillar and they eat it and they kill it. So what you wanna do here is if you find a tomato hornworm with these white eggs on it, is take them and move them to your sacrificial tomato plant. Because one of my plants is completely almost dead. So I'm gonna move this one over there and he'll continue eating and these wasps will have time to grow because we want more of these wasps around because we want to kill the hornworms. So what we do is you just take out your scissors and remove that leaf and we'll go over here and we'll just lay that right in there. Got a little horn on him too, I see. Yeah, that's the hornworm, tomato hornworm. By the way, they can be very sneaky, but this is the hornworm, one of the hornworms that's been defoliating this plant, and I just found them now. I've been looking at this thing for a half an hour. So, what do you do when you find hornworms? Um, there aren't hundreds of them. There might be three, there might be five, there might be ten, but if you take a couple of minutes, you can find them, and the best way to do it is just to kill them. You just take them and kill them. Let's do that again. <laughs> Rolling? Yep. Okay. So basically, you find these guys, and you kill him. Yuck. So, you know, if you come home, if you come home to your garden, you've been gone for a couple Again, days. Again, you tried it so. Sorry. This is a good example when you come home from being away a couple of days and you notice that the tops of the tomato plant are being defoliated. You, you shouldn't go inside and have a cup of coffee. You should go outside, get your scissors, and find these hornworms and take care of them because in a matter of days, they'll, they'll just strip all the leaves off this thing. So here's another parasitized one here. So we're gonna save this guy and put him on our sacrificial tomato plant. So we'll just lay that right in with the other guy and let those wasps hatch. Look at the horn part of the hornworm. Yeah, it's a big horn. So you can't tell, if you're just looking around your garden, you can't necessarily tell that Right there is a tomato hornworm. You know, it's because if you just if you just pull back and you're looking in your garden like this, you can barely see them.